Well, it's, this is the epicenter of the Chilean countryside, basically. This is where all started uh, in terms of viticulture r regions like Apalta or maybe some places in Maule you may find uh, uh, vines older, uh, old as this are. So basically this is where the old um, summer houses were from the aristocratic families in Chile and they brought the cuttings from Bordeaux many many years ago I mean at the beginning of the at the, at the end of the 18th century so basically these are pre phylloxera material and uh, which I think is not only unique for Chile this is unique for the world I think that you don't find that many old vineyards around and the expression of those vineyards are extremely particular and very, very unique. This is really kind of an ancient flavor, I will say, that truly reflects sense of place. I mean, the root penetration is fantastic. The kind of the, the all the, the, the local, and it's totally adapted to this region, to this area. So doesn't get more pure than this. I mean, that's one of the things that is, it's very hard to talk about sense of place without ageability. So this vine, as, as you can see, I mean, it's kind of ancient. And one of the things that is really interesting about this vineyard is that we have a lot of this older vines. We have been replacing a few of them, but definitely the flavor profile that you can get from this is completely different from what we are normally used to see in Chile in terms of ageability uh, of this vineyard. This is dated from 1890 meaning that this vines has been here uh, for many many generations and still producing i mean this was recently harvested last week and uh, the interesting thing about it is that the metabolism of these vineyards are completely different they're very very slow so the accumulation of sugar is slow i mean the alcohol potential alcohol is definitely very moderate and the flavor profile is very very unique root penetration is tremendously deep so these are completely self-regulated vines and as you can see this is a dry farm vineyard uh, i think that the old the changes in genetics today they have been uh, towards quality and volume in terms of yields per vine i think that in some way it's a positive, but in some other way, you start disconnecting from the original material. And, uh, and it's different. It may be better, it may be worse. I mean, hard to judge, but definitely what you find over here, it's, uh, it's probably an expression of what the original flavors and aromas used to be adapted to this particular region. I mean, it's, it's a very uh, authentic expression of this place and it shows what people call in biodynamics the farm individuality which i think it's a it's a very interesting concept when you think about it i mean the expression of a very old vineyard from a very particular site in a, it's not rep, you cannot replicate it it's unique without longevity how can you express sense of place if the roots if the roots are not getting to where they need to be